Day 493. Today there is a lot of news from the Rehiv direction. Here Ukrainians finally confirmed that they breached the last line of defense in front of Robotone and that Russian forces now only have the settlement itself to rely on. Today Ukrainian 47th Mechanized Brigade released combat footage that shows exactly how Ukrainians managed to push through despite immense Russian resistance. Since the counteroffensive operation is still in the early stages and Russians still have not burned through their accumulated personnel and equipment, Ukrainians found that the best tactic that ensures that even the freshest and most equipped Russian units break and retreat is continuous assaults. So Ukrainian assault units are preparing for at least 36 hours of virtually non-stop operations. For now, Ukrainians also mostly rely on infantry as it is harder to detect. In fact, almost all featured assaults were successful because Ukrainians crawled into Russian positions undetected and ambushed Russians in their own trenches. The first target of the assault unit became Russian defensive positions across the field. The setting was the following. There are two strong points in front of each other, the Ukrainian and the Russian. While both of them engaged in positional fights and Ukrainians distracted Russian soldiers with fire, the job of the assault units was to sneak into the Russian flanks and destroy them. After getting close to the Russian flanks, the Russians noticed something and started firing in their direction. The commander of the assault unit quickly realized that the Russians still did not understand the exact positions of the Ukrainians and ordered everyone not to shoot unless they could see and eliminate the target for sure. The commander requested artillery support, Ukrainian artillery hit exactly where needed, Russians started panicking and making mistakes, the assault unit eliminated most of them without even getting close and established control over the position. Despite operating for 8 hours straight and successfully taking Russian positions, Ukrainians immediately started preparing to move further. They coordinated with another unit in the region and created the following plan. Establish two machine gun positions, create crossfire and combine it with concentrated artillery fire, while three units approached the next Russian positions on the line. However, the moment Ukrainians started implementing their plan, Russians launched a counterattack to recapture positions that they just lost. Ukrainians quickly communicated the coordinates and the second group of Ukrainians engaged in meeting the Russians. Russian mechanized assault was rebuffed, but Russians did not stop pushing, which undermined Ukrainian plans. Unable to move forward, the Ukrainian assault unit was forced to conduct defensive operations. After sunset, the situation did not improve, gunfire and artillery strikes intensified, and it became clear that Russians were preparing for a night assault. Ukrainians were not ready for a defensive operation. The commander faced his soldiers and said, if we stay here, we die, which is not an option. So we either have to retreat and lose what we gain today, or eliminate the threat. The offense is the best defense, so we open fire and use everything we have, while two groups of two people leverage our strong right flank and crawl right into the Russian positions. When they are ready, I give a signal, we throw grenades and immediately after the explosion enter the trenches and take the positions. I am going to be one of these four people, I need three volunteers. Who will come with me? Everyone was silent. The idea of crawling into the dark towards enemy positions under constant machine gun and artillery fire and successfully ambushing Russians with just four people seemed insane. However, the fact that their commander was willing to go first and lead them gave them the confidence that they would succeed. The units advanced and assumed the necessary positions with Russians still unaware of their presence, the commander gave the sign, grenades exploded and the whole hell broke loose. In the morning, the commander reported that the operation was successful, Ukrainians wrecked Russian plans and took the positions that they initially planned to take. By the way, the commander that led his troops into battle that night is Valery Marcus, who is actually the commander of the 47th Mechanized Brigade. Despite such a high position, he participates in the most difficult operation and understands exactly what his troops are dealing with. Despite visible exhaustion on his face, he said that they were already set to storm the next Russian positions on the line. 36 hours of continuous assaults under his command proved to be extremely successful and his unit cleared multiple kilometers of tree lines and opened access to the main Russian stronghold. 
if you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next report.